Today, we're talking about vitamins. Intro to vitamins. So we're going to do a vitamins recap, what vitamins are, talk about fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins. Then we'll go a little deeper into the fat-soluble vitamins. Those are A, D, E, and K, the functions, deficiencies, and sources. The water-soluble vitamins, we'll talk about B-complex and choline, functions, deficiencies, and sources and vitamin C, functions, deficiencies, and sources. Adapted from, we have all of these resources and references. So recap on vitamins. What are vitamins? Vitamins are organic compounds different from fat, protein, and carbohydrates in that they are not used as an energy source or as structural components. They are essential in minute amounts and are classified as fat soluble and water soluble. The function of vitamins. Vitamins are involved in enzymatic reactions and play a significant role in DNA synthesis, energy release, bone development, normal eye function, cell membrane integrity, blood clotting, free radical scavenging, protein metabolism, and nerve impulse transduction. Fat soluble vitamins include A, D, E, and K. Vitamin A and D have a higher potential for toxicity if you feed in excess over long periods of time. The water-soluble vitamins include C and members of the B complex. Choline is also lumped into this category, even though technically it is not a vitamin. Vitamin A. The chemical compounds of vitamin A are retinol, retinol, and retinoic acid. The most biologically available compound is retinol. The origin of all vitamin A is carotenoids, which are synthesized by plant cells. Functions. Vitamin A impacts vision, bone growth, reproduction, and maintenance of epithelial tissues. Vitamin A deficiencies affect the eyes and the skin. Retinol helps the eyes adapt to light changes, so sensitivities and eventually night blindness can occur if there's a deficiency. Lesions in the skin and increased susceptibility to infection can also happen. The best sources. Cats cannot convert carotenoids to active vitamin A, so they must get vitamin A from animal sources. Another reason they cannot be vegan. The animal that the cat eats does the conversion for them. So the prey eats the plants, converts carotenoids to retinol, the active form of vitamin A, then the cat eats the animal, and then they get the correct version of vitamin A. So since the prey already does this for them, cats just, they don't have that ability to make that conversion. Liver is extremely high in vitamin A. It's also in fish liver oils, like cod liver oil, milk, and egg yolks. Vitamin D. The two forms of vitamin D are D2, ergocalciferol, and D3, colcalciferol. The most active form of vitamin D is calcitriol. Herbivores get vitamin D when they eat plants because plants can synthesize this version. However, cats are more dependent on dietary D3 because they cannot convert it from the sun like we can because they have a bunch of fur. Calcitriol is often classified as a hormone because it is produced in the body and because of its mechanism in the body. Parathyroid hormone is released in response to decreasing blood calcium, and then the body can convert calcitriol in the kidneys. Jericho's going crazy playing with his toys. The efficiency of vitamin D results in impaired bone mineralization. This causes osteomalacia, or soft bones, in adult animals and rickets in growing animals. The best sources are egg yolks, liver, and fish. Those are all great sources of vitamin D. And salmon is my superhero ingredient for Jericho's vitamin D requirement. Sardines are also going to make their way into Jericho's diet. I might actually replace salmon for sardines because I'm adding sardines to my diet too. And you may also see cod liver oil in foods. So typically when you see cod liver oil, it isn't used for the omega fatty acids, it's typically used for the high amounts of vitamin A and D. Vitamin E, the chemical compounds of vitamin E are tocopherols and tocotrienols. The most potent form is alka tocopherol. It is found in at least small amounts in all tissues and is incorporated into the membrane of cells and it's stored in the liver. So the main function of vitamin E is as an antioxidant. 
polyunsaturated fats in the diet become rancid after oxidation, which is when oxygen hits the food. Oxidation can damage cells and normal, normal cellular function. So vitamin E protects against the, that damage and it also protects vitamin A and some amino acids from damage. A deficiency in vitamin E can cause reproductive failure and steatitis can result from too many PUFAs without enough antioxidants. PUFAs are polyunsaturated fats. The level of PUFAs determine the requirement of vitamin E in the diet. Selenium also protects cells from oxidative damage and can reduce vitamin E requirement. That's a mineral we'll talk about in the next section. So the best sources. Unfortunately, these books list a bunch of seed oils for vitamin E, but they do also say egg yolk contains moderate amounts depending on the hen's diet. Jericho gets lots of natural vitamin E in his diet, mostly from wheatgrass, which is a catgrass plant, but also from egg yolk, kelp, salmon, and chicken wings because of the skin. Now, it's questionable if from the catgrass he can even digest these nutrients because it's plant-based. So I'm, I'm always working on Jericho's diet, always adding new ingredients like sardines, but he does have the catgrass whenever he wants, and there is natural form of vitamin E, like alpha tocopherol. By now, it's liquid, but you don't wanna overdo it. It's important to know how to formulate so that you're adding the right amount. Vitamin K, the compound group is called quinones. K1 is phylloquinone and occurs in green plants. K2 is menaquinone and is synthesized by bacteria in the large intestine. K3 is menadione and is activity is two to three times higher than natural K1. The function of vitamin K is blood clotting. It's necessary for the liver's manufacture of prothrombin, factor two, and three other clotting factors, seven, four, and 10 in the liver. A deficiency can cause increased clotting time and hemorrhage. However, this may only happen when the cat is taking something that affects the gut, like antibiotics. Supplementation would be necessary here because the bacterial populations in the large intestines are reduced because antibiotics destroy bad bacteria, but they also destroy good bacteria. So supplementation of vitamin K, and I would also say probiotics would be beneficial in this situation. The best sources are mainly plant sources. Animal sources are lower, but are included in liver, egg, and certain fish meals. But cats can synthesize vitamin K as long as they have a healthy gut. B complex, what do these nine vitamins act as? So the B complex vitamins are coenzymes for specific cellular enzymes involved in energy metabolism and tissue synthesis. Coenzymes are small organic molecules that must be present with an enzyme for a specific reaction to occur. Food energy, the six B vitamins involved in the use of food energy include thiamine by B1, riboflavin B2, niacin B3, pyridoxine B6, pantothenic acid B5, and biotin B7. Jericho wants me to pay attention to him. Cell maintenance, growth, blood synthesis. The three B vitamins involved here are folic acid or B9, cobamelin B12, and choline, which is also lumped in here, as I mentioned before. Natural sources of B complex. Most B vitamins are found in organ meats, liver and kidney especially, and egg yolks. Vitamin C. The chemical name is ascorbic acid. It's made from glucose by plants and most animal species, including cats. Losses of vitamin C can occur from exposure to heat, light, alkalis, oxidative enzymes, and the minerals copper and iron. The function of vitamin C, it forms collagen and elastin. It synthesizes acetylcholinerase. It's also important for normal bone formation, and it is useful in times of stress since it's a powerful antioxidant. Vitamin C is produced in the liver from either glucose or galactose. Cats actually do not have a dietary requirement because they are capable of producing adequate levels of vitamin C on their own. Up next, we will discuss minerals in the next section. So please post any com questions that you have in the comments that I, so that I can gather and make an FAQ video. Some things to prepare for now. Take a look at the ingredients in your cat's food and compare to the slides and see where your cat's vitamins are coming from. Check the label for these synthetic versions or see if there are actually whole food sources of these vitamins. Very interesting to see. Are they organic or are they inorganic? And you can get this PDF slide when you join my nutrition course. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next section.